Hello, my name is Curtis. Today I'm going to show you an instructional video brought to you by DC Fix. Now I'm sure, like myself, that you have an old, boring, out of fashion wardrobe that without spending hundreds of pounds to replace, just needs a bit of TLC to bring it back to life using our glossy white sticky back plastic. Now just before we start, let's make sure we have the correct kit. So we have a cloth, a scalpel, some scissors, a pencil, plate measure, screwdriver or a drill, and our DC Fix kit with the smoother. And just before we start, best to take the handles off the door and the door off its hinges. It makes the application of the film a little easier. Now that we have our door off the wardrobe, I'm going to use my benches as a nice flat surface, but you can use your floor if you want to. Now I'm going to grab my cloth, give it a good clean, make sure you've got all the dust and the grit off the surface area. If you do happen to have a little lump, you can use some sandpaper, give it a good clean afterwards. Next, you're going to need to use your tape measure from top to bottom, get your measurement and the width of your door, making sure you give your edging and another centimetre on top of that as wiggle room. I'm now going to roll out the film and then using my pencil and my tape measure and with the guidelines provided, the right measurement, and use your scissors to cut a nice straight line. Okay, now that we've measured and cut our film, just fold it back by about 15 centimetres and roll this side up to make the application a little bit easier. When you've done that, you need to give it a flip, leaving enough space at the edge as you overhang. Just press it down gently, get your smoother, just start smoothing it at the top, just as pressed in. Then you've got your little film here to pull gently, and as you go, just press out all the bubbles that you come across. If you do come across any bubbles that you can't get past, you can use a safety pin. Press it out with your smoother and it will disappear. And you come across it in the edges, if you have any edges on your door, just press right into there. And if you do make a mistake, and you can't get rid of a bubble, you can just lift it and just gently go back, and it will disappear, and you just carry on as you were before. Now to do the edges, using your smoother, just press down gently, pulling it a little bit, but not too much, because you might overstretch it. If you do happen to have a curve on the top of it, you can use a hairdryer on the lowest setting to make it more pliable. Now we're going to show you how to do the corners. You cut a straight line diagonally from the corner of the film to the corner of the door. When holding the flap down, fold it over and then when leaving a one centimetre gap, cut the excess off. And then you're going to fold the other flap over, cut the excess off. Now that we've finished with our corners and our edges, we need to flip it and cut off our excess. Now it's time to show you the size of the wardrobe. The process is exactly the same, measure, cut and apply. My advice would be to start from the top of the cupboard, get a good grip, work your way down. Use your smoother to smooth out the bubbles as you go. The great thing about DC Fix is if you do make a mistake, you can pull it off and start it again as many times as you like. Don't forget about your edges and use your knife to trim up at the end. Now that you've finished all that, just leave it 24 hours before refitting the door handles, allowing the film to bond fully. Then refit the doors to their hinges and you're done. So there you have it. You have a brand new looking wardrobe for nowhere near the price of a new one. And with the money you saved, you can buy your other half something nice. 